Hey guys, Jimbo here, carrying on with Dark Souls 2 today. So in the last episode, uh, we fought Lud and was it Zalem the King's Pets? And uh, second try, not too bad. Uh, in between episodes, I've also gone up a couple of levels. It took all the way until uh, 25 achievement to get my fourth slot or fifth slot, whichever it is. We now have three great fireballs, six great combustion, and one of those forbidden sun ones that I got last time doing that nasty work for Navlan. Uh, I think, though, it's time to join the Aleum Noise. I can't say that word. Aleum Lois Knights for a little bit of a journey. Oh, camera. Fellas. Here we go. Jesus Christ. Well, nice of them to put a platform for us. Though they're kind of fire based by the looks of it, which is going to make this awkward. Oh, that's not the right spell. Yeah, this is going to be awkward because they're using fire. Getting it changes. Wrong timing. Actually, it wasn't too bad after all. It was not what I expected to happen. I don't recognize that spell. Yeah, for all the Elaim Lois knights, I, I can't say that. Elaim Lois. Ooh, interesting. Damn it! Do you guys want to actually give me a hand, or you just am I just doing it on my own? As long as I know. turns corners. Interesting. I thought the, the spell just went straight. What the hell was that supposed to be? I don't know how they missed. I have no idea how they missed. Great. Oh, I see it. because the knights are busy icing up. Wow, that has a shockingly short range. The ice texture looks very nice, though. So I think that's all of the... Uh, oh, that's everything, I think. He's making an entrance. Sauron's second cousin. Burn Ivory King. I guess that's the way to do it. Probably switch to some fire defense. 
Yeah, I tried to dodge, nothing happened. But never mind. I need to stop doing that second one because I he always dodges before I get a chance to do anything with it. Oh, okay. Looks like an area attack, and it, indeed it was. Whoa, it's got some real range on that now. Shit. And I just said about not doing that, and it's exactly what I did. <laughs> just the once that time. Whoa, I... How is he picking me up on... Oh, there is actually a physical weapon in there. It didn't look like there was. It's like a last. Shit. Delayed that so well. Okay, okay, well done, well done. More poor play on my part than good play on his, I think, though. And I didn't even think of checking the rings that I've got equipped. Didn't even occur to me. Uh... Loranthia ring, yes. Third dragon ring, yes. The other two, less sure on. So, fire defense would probably be pretty good. Flame quartz ring. Ring of blades, that does increase our attack, but not by, by a lot. What else have I got? I feel like spells. Nope. Not doing any blocking with any shields. Attacks greatly reduce enemy stamina. I don't think that's going to apply. Uh, a lot of Covenant Rings... Uh, things like counter-attacking aren't going to do anything, really. Same with that, it's not going to explode with any real damage. Falling? I'm not even falling. It's additional spells, well they're using fire like me, so that isn't going to help. Not really got any souls I care about, so there's no point in doing that. I don't know. Steel protection, but maybe that's not going to make a huge difference when I've got so much armor. Maybe reducing the enemy poise would be pretty good. Try that. Oh. Or well, somehow all of the knights will be back at the beginning like they never went. Same with dude down below. I don't want to summon, but I just want to see who this person is. Lucatil, Jesus. Shame I never got her story. Kind of seemed to go hollow, and that was about it. I don't know, maybe I can have another go at this boss? Maybe I can summon then. Have another go, eh? So, hang on, who have we actually got? We've got. One with a sword and shield, two with a sword and shield, one with an axe. Oh, and one with like a single-sided kind of Bardish style axe. Okay. Just curious. I know there was one there at the very beginning, we had to collect three more. I think it was the sword dude on the right. Alright, let's try this again. I might as well try the old growth bar. A little bit of bonus. I don't really care about these souls, but I might as well get them while they're here. There are 22,000 of them, more than I thought. They're really keen on me. Okay, so they've they've all switched to using Pyromancy because of what happened to them, whereas the original knights are using kind of regular magic. Oh, I thought I had enough stamina for another attack. Guess not. 
stand there while I'm on fire, that's fine. Two down, they didn't like it. You're all attacking me, eh? I suppose I am doing easily the most damage. They're already taken care of, we don't need to do that. Ooh, what's this? A loose shield, I think that's it. One of you can finish that off, I think. Okay, so we've lost one sword and he's gone to seal that one over. Oh, lost two even. Do one of you want to go over and fix that doorway because I don't want any more uninvited guests? Not while his highness is appearing. One of you, over there. Block that frick. No, you're just going to piss me off. And I hope no more spawn. Getting stabbed in the back by a regular mob. Really gonna piss me off. Fuck. Oh, okay. Of course, the Ivory King decides it's the best time to join in. You. Well, finally he does it. Now there's an extra knight. Great. Great. You're actually killing him. Oh. Did you, like, hit him once? And then just fucking back off? You asshole. Why would you do that? Great, and now I've got way less damage up. Oh, didn't know you could do that off the bat. Oh. He's doing way less damage to the king than he was to anything else, although not that they're doing... Oh, okay, I know what that does. the button. I definitely hit the button. I would love to heal there, but I think he's just going to run at me and stab me. I'll have a go now because it's a way away. Stamina. Some stamina. Oh, I hit the button. Great, I don't like the look of this. Where did that shot go? Oh, it's like a... Don't quite know why it wore off, but whatever. Okay, I shouldn't have done that follow-up. I already learned that mistake. Oh. Do you want to actually go in there and just kill him? Thank you. <laughs> ok, 
Okay, well, Soul of the Ivory King, and then I note there is some kind of burning thing on the ground. Crown of the Ivory King, very nice. Let's have a little read of our new things. A faint heat lingers in the crown. Nice to know. What am I doing? Souls. A Lois soul does not yield souls, but perhaps. The Knights of Lois were taken by chaos and lost all sense of purpose and being. The wo few woeful souls that trudged back home were guided by some faint vestige of self. The soul is pure sorrow and only Elsana can put it to rest. So that's the Child of Dark above, yes. Oh, and then I've got the crown. I remember how to use the interface. Quite diff by different. Crown of the Ivory King who once ruled this land. Far to the north, a king built a great cathedral to appease the raging flame. It doesn't look appeased. But when he sensed the degradation of his soul, he left without a word, leaving everything to Alsana, who had unbeknownst found a place at his side. But these were events of long ago, and today no one even remembers the king's name. Yep, same as in the other ones. 136,000 souls right now, Jesus F. Christ. I presume that's not like a laser beam, like from James Bond. Nope, we're fine. Well, I presume Mist wants it. You've granted thy one wish. Now I have no regrets. I was born amidst the dark. Long ago, in the depths of the abyss, my father perished. The dark shattered into tiny pieces, one of which was me. How frightened I was. A frail thing, born from but a splinter of dark. I felt that I might simply disappear. I am, in fact, the incarnation of my father's fears. I saw that the king of this land was strong. I sought him only to sustain myself, to smother my fears. Now, I realize that he may have known all along. Soul kind of hints he mighted. Mighted? I was born of fear, and my lord provided comfort. And so, here I remain, heiress to my lord's wishes, watching over chaos until the end of time. So, are you able to actually do anything about the chaos or just watch it? The knights of a lay voice were swallowed by the chaos, where their souls still remain. I pray for their deliverance. The knights of a where there's I. Pray. Yeah. What about the um? What about the one I've got? This one. Perhaps Elsana can put it to rest. Well, I'm I'm here. This seems pretty impenetrable, and I don't think there's any reason to go back down there. Or is there anywhere to go? Well... What do I do then? The nights were the I pr yeah, I know. Um... I don't know. Perhaps I have to make an item with it. Okay, and another note. I remember from last time that once you have the, each of the different crowns from the DLCs, it's a good job or a good idea to go talk to Vendrick. He says interesting things about them. So I'm going to carry on doing that and... Uh, oh, I suppose I'll level up first and then we'll go have a little chat and see what he has to say. There. And 
Okay, well there's no point in getting any more achievement. No way am I getting up to like 30 achievement. Uh, I don't think dexterity is really going to help with the weapon I've got. One point of damage, apparently. Faith will improve the fire damage. Uh, what's that? Magic and... They will have lightning and... Lightning bonus, interesting. See the point in that. I'm gonna pass the soft cap there, but I might as well get it anyway. Okay, I guess I'll go travel and I'll see you guys in a sec. Yeah, I know this. As befits you, seeker of fire, coveter of the throne. Cracking voice or not, that is not helpful. Okay, let's go through all the different crowns. So, crown of the sunken king first. <laughs> He's amused. Seeker of fire, conqueror of dark. I too sought fire once. With fire, they say. A true king can harness the curse. Yeah, I don't think so. A lie. Yeah, okay. But I knew no better. Seeker of fire, you know not the depth of dark within you. It grows deeper still, the more flame you covet. Flame, oh, flame. You sound like Macduff. Interesting. Seeker of fire, I see you've subdued another foul creature. One of the father of the abyss spawn. That confounded quintessence of humanity. The abyss once had form, but then dissipated. And yet, traces of its existence endured. Each fragment, thirsting for power, spread dark with no relent. My dear Chandra was one such fragment. A feeble, tiny thing that thirsted for power more than any other. Driven by insatiable lust for a worthy vessel. Interesting though, because all of the different children of Darkness, Chandra, Alsana, whatever the other two were called, they're, they're, they're similar, their natures are the same, but the actual people seem different. Certainly the last one actually seemed to kind of care for the, the Ivory King. So they're not all just leeches that, that cling on. They're not just that anyway. Okay. Old Iron King. One day fire will fade and dark will become a curse. Men will be free from death, left to wander eternally. Dark will again be ours and in our true shape we can bury the false legends of yore. Only, is this our only choice? Seeker of fire. Coveter of the throne. Seek strength. Uh, which crown is that I'm holding? The rest will follow. Do I need to talk wearing all the crowns, or is that just because I have all of them I'll gradually get all of the dialogue? I don't know. Heat radiates from the ancient crowns. That's not a faint heat. Let's 
let's uh, put something else on. Anything, really. Crown from the Sunken King doesn't give me too much. A little bit of poison resist, a little bit of petrify. It does increase my stats a little bit. A little bit like the shield. Uh, extra points in... God, I don't know. A few things. Not the same from the old Iron King. Hmm. Can't really tell what they all do. Eh, no matter. I don't think there's too much else to do now. I think the main thing is left to do. I'm obviously not going to kill the firekeeper. So I think the mains, main thing left to do is um, the king's gate. Oh, I'm not going to want these on, am I? Um, don't really know what I'm facing. Maybe a dispelling ring because it gives me all sorts of different resistances. And then I'll take this off and... Again, I don't know what I'm facing. I'll put the king's ring on for now. And then once we're through, we can uh, kind of look into what we're going to do. Oh, also, items-wise, I'm going to stick with the growth balm. I don't want the feather on anymore because we'll either succeed or we'll die. Uh, I guess the Elizabeth mushroom is probably good to have. Got a toilet herb on for the hell of it. Don't think I'm going to get poisoned, but you never know, I suppose. Pose. What else is there? Oh, I could put bright bug on. Probably makes sense. And maybe some resins, but I don't know what I would face. I know Nashandra's dark, so maybe fire would be good against it. Maybe lightning? Dark pine resin, charcoal pine resin. Right, and I don't think I've got any of the lightning one, actually. Okay, charcoal it is, I suppose. And then I guess a repair powder. I'm kind of putting a little too much on here, I think. Don't think I want to take anything in particular. Maybe the Twilight Herb. I don't think I'm going to necessarily use too many pyromancies. But uh, you never know, you never know. Double check I'm actually recording and that you can hear me, that should all be okay. That would suck to finish the game and not catch at that. Oh, hello. My journey is already complete. My name is Shannonot. The dragon gave me this name, for I was born with none. None of us are. I was born of dragons, contrived by men. By ones who would cause him fate herself. They are the ones who created me. Or like Aldia, maybe? But they failed. I did not come out as intended. Fate would not be best, and men were cursed once again. If you proceed, Nashandra will come after you. Knowing that you will take the throne and link the fire. Well, it might not. She covets the first flame and the great soul. Put Nashandra to rest. She's not a lady of many words, is she? Throne of Want. Name. easy place to get to if you're actually trying to see the king or queen. The whole thing's in a cave well under the castle. Can't say it's not atmospheric though, because it certainly is. A run though. 
I'm not going to use anyone, obviously, but I'd like to see who's available. Bradley of the Old Guard. Then go. And Ben Hart. Yeah, I never really did finish Ben Hart's story. I've got no idea where he went. And I don't know who the other chap is that's not Ben Gar. Ah, Throne Watcher and Throne Defender. Hello. Yeah, I figured that would happen. Oh god, okay. I don't like the, the Agile one over here. Wow, she doesn't like me either, though. Come on, actually use the Estus when I tell you to, if that's alright. I know it's a lot to ask, but, you know, fuck me, that is what controls are for. Hell. Bender has a little bit of punch to him. Really? Oh, okay. What? She suddenly got way more health than she did. She's not actually dead, she's just down. God, does she come back? Huh. Okay. Let's actually repair our weapon while we've got chance. Or not. Oh, it did work. Hi. You have proven yourself. Oh, you look quite different in your natural form. Holy God, HR Geiger escapee. Mighty looking scythe you've got there as well. Could be our Grim Fandango, now, actually. Be one with the dark. He says while reaching up at some light. Used. Okay, well, let's use a bright bug. And. Fire. Oh, okay, you got a nice laser. Oh, 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 that uh oh that's these things isn't it that's not her hey I recognize that laser you stole that ability She like curses you with every hit. Don't like the look of this. Just hit her. <laughs> Just hit her. Oh, the DLCs maybe make you a little too strong. <laughs> Many monarchs have come and gone. Hold here. One drowned in poison, You seem to have more than one voice. Not one of them As you now. You conqueror of adversities. Give us your answer. What's the freaking question? Oh. Also, is using fire on uh, this a good idea? I did that way too prematurely. 
probably again. I haven't got a health bar yet. But I didn't do very much, did it? Maybe using fire on a fire dude is not a smart move. Oh! Nice branches you've got. Oh, these don't look good. Got too many freaking things on. Oh, okay. Literally standing on a hob. Oh no, move, 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 move. It's kind of on fire. Maybe a fireball is not going to help very much, but I'll use it anyway for the 16. Eat. I need a different. Hey, dude. Oh, it's because I've got this stupid thing like that on again. Oh, that looks quite a lot larger. Are you, what are you planning to do with that? Interesting. Oh, it's these things again. Okay, hello. Can you stop being on freaking fire? Because it's very hard to hit you when you're doing that. Thank you. Okay, before he turns the boilers back on. Oh, okay, no, I think I'm being cooked alive again. Where did that one go? Shit. Oh wait, I literally ran into it. That was dumb. Oh, I just... I <gasps> really did it again. Jesus Christ, what am I doing? Get some room, run, 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 run. He's doing that freaking big one again, isn't he? What a dick. Come on. And he's on effing fire again. Just hit him, even if he is on fire. Oh. It didn't work. Oh, okay, he's kind of protected when he's on fire. It's not just a case of... Whatever. Whatever. Night, night. we here. Proceed to throne. Oh. And over here. 
leave the throne. I turn on what I did last time, certainly. I think last time I left it, so this time we'll, we'll give it a go. It looks like, well, it does not look like a comfy seat, it looks like an ash igloo. Mind, give it a go anyway. The throne is in there, yes. Oh! Are they, are they going to build me a bridge? I left the king's ring all, the, all of that time, I just realised I could have taken it off. <laughs> well, I've got way more defence if I'd thought of it. Or, oh, are they, they're not building me a bridge, they are becoming a bridge. Kind of like a, a huddle. You who link the fire. You who bear the curse. Once the fire is linked, Souls will flourish anew, and all of this will play out again. It is your choice to embrace or renounce this. Great Sovereign, take your throne. As you do. What lies ahead, only you can see. Well, Drang Lake needs a little bit of a makeover at first, because this place, brimming with hollows, right mess. Oh, unless I'm just going to catch fire in the oven. Anyway, I'll have to edit this piece in. But yeah, that was Dark Souls 2, so... Wow, uh, a long game. Very long game, and considering the problems I had with hard drives and having to play the game through more than once. A very long game. Um, but thanks for sticking with me through this. Hope you enjoyed it. Now, how did it fare against... The only comparison I've got, I suppose, is Dark Souls 1. So... It did... How do I put it? It was better than people, you know, pretended it was, or people have said it is. It isn't a terrible game, by any means. Is it as good as Dark Souls 1? Uh, is it as game-changing? No. I don't think it is at all. I think Dark Souls 1 is still better. It was my first one. It's always going to be... No. I haven't played Dark Souls 3 yet, so I don't know that yet. But it, um, for now, I prefer the original. Um, but there were a number of enhancements that this game had over to the original Dark Souls. Unfortunately, also a few things that were actually worse, mainly in the weird kind of character movement, although you suddenly had eight-way rolling, things were a bit kind of grid-like and the animations were bad. <sighs> the combat was slower. Um, just a number, obviously the graphics were kind of better in some ways, but the lighting just made it all look very cartoony and strange. Now, I know the game had a very, very troubled development, uh, the original director of the game was taken off of the game part of the way through when they realised it was kind of going in a direction they didn't like um, and he was replaced so they kind of had to stitch together what they did have and it didn't always work very well I think coming out of the elevator from the poison area straight into the iron keep where it was all flat ground and no way you could have come up didn't make any sense um, the three expansions, though, were very good, uh, much improved, a lot of new mechanics, the areas were interesting, the bosses were generally better, the fume light 
uh, even Serolon up to a point was probably some of the best bosses in the game. And although the Iron King wasn't, or not the Iron King, although the Ivory King wasn't the strongest, it was a very interesting boss fight with the different NPCs helping you in that arena, and the visuals were very impressive. Of course, that DLC also had the worst area in both Dark Souls games I've played so far in. What do they call it? Horsefuck Valley? Excuse my language. Yeah, the frigid outskirts. Abominable design. Horrible. And then the boss, pretty bad as well. So, I mean, it's just two of an enemy you've already fought, only worse. So, yeah, um, looking forward to Dark Souls 3, I suppose. Although, like I said, I believe in the last episode, right now the servers are down because of some large uh, exploit. And that's Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, um, Demon Souls, I think they're all down. And we're currently awaiting Elden Ring where it should hopefully be fixed at some future date beyond that. For now, no, no multiplayer, and while that's the case, I probably won't be playing Dark Souls 3 because there'll be all sorts of things I can miss between the invasions and summon signs and notes for things that I would never find on my own. So I think that's going to be in the future, but not until multiplayer servers are back up and running but anyway i think that's it uh thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in another playthrough in the future take care bye bye